because intuition develops with time Correct. so you need to give some time to your brain to develop the skill of coming up with solutions concept her data structure ka right. her language mein same rahega but syntax vary karta hai correct so i joined goldman sachs last year as an analyst Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys I'm Kabir Singh and we're here with another interview experience for you guys today we have Harsimran Kaur and she's working in Goldman Sachs which is obviously a well known company out there so let's see today how the interview experience is in Goldman Sachs and how was it for Harsimran so hi Harsimran how are you doing hello hi i am very good how so, are Harsimran, you i'm i'm really fine i'm really fine so Harsimran if i could just get a quick introduction about you so i joined Goldman Sachs last year as an analyst mm-hmm. i am 2021 not by anyone who joins goldman sachs okay. from college okay. higher so i completed my graduation last year in may and joined the company in july okay so far so good the experience has been awesome nice a great company to start in engineering so i work in engineering division mm-hmm. so if your focus is to upskill yourself along with upskilling your soft skills Right. This is the best place. Correct. That's really nice to hear. And now, Harsimran, what we're going to do today is sum up the way you gave your interview. I know it was a while back, but uh, we're going to discuss how you actually gave the interview, how many rounds were there, and we'll sum up the rounds for the audience. So coming to the number of rounds, how many rounds did you have for your Goldman Sachs interview? So it was a total of four rounds. The first one was preliminary round. Mm-hmm. so it was a coding based round it was okay. conducted for a lot of students that is a, a filtering round right and after that i had three rounds of interview okay so first one was the oa we can say the online assessment yeah okay so talking about the online assessment how many questions did you get over there so online assessment we had total of three coding questions Mm-hmm. then some mcu questions one question was to explain a given situation okay so do you remember the three coding questions if i ask you yeah vaguely i can okay. answer them okay yeah. even if you could tell what you know actual domain they were from the, the data structures that were used or something like that mm-hmm. basically the three questions Mm-hmm. the first one is easy second okay. one is of medium level the last one is of hard level okay followed by these questions you have 15 mcq questions uh-huh. these mcq questions comprise of aptitude mm-hmm. networking okay. database questions okay and we had negative marking also also we had strict time for each question right coming back to coding questions the first one was pretty easy question okay it was some string based question mm-hmm. i'll come to the medium one i remember that okay so uh, in the medium question we had a 2d array mm-hmm. and we had some letters in each element of the array okay and you had to uh, count the number of formations of a particular word From say you are at the central position of that matrix right traversing in each of the eight direction okay top down right left, right. left okay. and diagonally mm-hmm. so how many occurrences of a particular word can you find out okay you had to give out the number okay understood yeah that's a really nice question out there which they've put up for you and and uh, i guess uh, nowadays a lot of mcq questions have been asked lately in the online assessments as well so you know that's more of basics aptitude networking and dbms etc but uh, moving to the second round what was your second round actually so after we qualified for this paper mm-hmm. the second round was interview round okay. video call uh-huh. because i was interviewed during covid time so we had okay. video call there also they shared this coding a uh, platform okay i was given a coding question Mm-hmm. If I remember the question, it was about flattening uh-huh. a multi-level linked list. Okay. So I had to solve that. So on what basis were we being judged? Is you have to first of all tell your intuition. Mm-hmm. Once you are done with the intuition, start with the coding, okay. and you do not have to actually come up with the exact code. Like clear yeah, every test. That that was the approach, I guess. Approach. 
plus partial coding that okay. is what they were actually judging yeah mm-hmm. okay i think if you are stuck with the approach it's very important to tell whatever is coming to your mind because the right. person who is देर दैट पर्सन विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू तो वो कुछ ना कुछ बता रहे थे कि अच्छा आपने ये सोच लिया हैश मैप सोच लिया है तो और सोचिए कि इसका नेक्स्ट फंक्शन क्या हो सकता है हैश सेट हो सकता है Correct. Okay, that's that's really nice. So, how many questions did you have in the second round? So, second round we had two coding questions. Okay. And a puzzle also. Oh, nice. Puzzle. If I remember, it was about there are n number of people in a room, mm-hmm. and there is one special person in that room. Okay. N minus one people in uh-huh. that room know that special person, but that special person. Does not know anybody else. So, okay. given a function, say f a comma b, mm-hmm. where a if he knows b, the function returns true. Right. If a does not know b, the function returns false. Okay. So, use this function to figure out the special person in minimum calls to this function. Right. So, this was the puzzle. That's yeah. nice. That's really interesting out there. The way they've put up uh, questions for you. So, moving on to the third round now again mm-hmm. was it an interview like a video call interview or was it something yeah, else yeah. yeah it was also an interview mm-hmm. video call interview so this was more specific to language okay so i was asked which language do you code in i told them that it is python they said why python <laughs> over java why not right. java why not c++ so you had to be clear there ki mm-hmm. kyun ye wali language pick up ki hai Correct. And if you know Java, then be very confident with all the data structures mm-hmm. out there. Good syntactical because concept her data structure ka right. her language may same rahega, but syntax vary karta. Correct. You have to master so that this, language which you're naming. That yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Third round, it was mm-hmm. language specific questions. Right. plus bit other technical questions okay or uh, relating to networking database that's it okay. easy questions so the first round which you had would you rate it easy medium or hard the first online assessment so the first round was basically coding round yeah it was a medium round okay. medium level and the second round yeah. second round was bit tough comparatively mm-hmm. because they were going into the depth of the okay. language that you have chosen कि अगर पाइथन है तो चलो ये बताओ कि हैश में आप नहीं डिक्शनरी यूज करते हो आप पाइथन में तो डिक्शनरी क्यों यूज करते हो बैक एंड में व्हाट वर्क्स डिक्शनरी को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए फिर ऐसी कॉन्वर्जेशन चल रही थी सो ही आल्सो गेव मी अ कोडिंग क्वेश्चन कि ओके इम्प्लीमेंट अ डिक्शनरी विदाउट यूजिंग द एक्चुअल लाइब्रेरी राइट डेडलाइन but unfortunately your colleague has to be out of office for a specific period of time how would you work deal with the situation and provide the, huh, provide right. the task at the given time so aisa kuch tha you have to be very vigilant at that time so maine us samay answer kiya ki i'll take the help of my seniors mm-hmm. i'll inform right. that then that ye situation hai i need some help because correct. it is very important in companies to speak out correct yeah we moved on to some technical questions also ओके हाँ तो उन्होंने पूछा कि तुम्हारा फेवरेट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर कौन सा है अच्छा ठीक है ये डेटा स्ट्रक्चर है तो तुम्हारा फेवरेट कोई कोडिंग क्वेश्चन जिसमें ये डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूज किया राइट एंड इट वाज द लॉन्ग राउंड सो व्हाट अगेन वुड बी योर रेटिंग हियर इजी मीडियम और हार्ड इट वॉज प्रिटी हार्ड ओके एच आर राउंड वॉज हार्ड फॉर यू या दैट्स बिकॉज इट वॉज इन ओनली एच आर इट वॉज एच आर प्लस या Generally, when you talk about the HR round, it's only a small, you know, conversation with situations. But when you talk about HR plus technical, you already are pressurized about the situations, and then you have technical questions to answer as well. So it mm-hmm. makes it really difficult for people. So that's right. Yeah. But uh, moving forward, let's conclude the video with a tip that would you would you know prefer to give your juniors that okay, by this tip should be followed so that you can get a good placement. Whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. know the depth of it. 
Okay. Be consistent with your coding mm-hmm. because uh, if you start coding a month before your interview or your exam, it won't help because intuition develops with time. Correct. So you need to give some time to your brain to develop the skill of coming up with solutions. So Correct. be consistent. Do not panic. Ki are ye wala question would say it na easy ta tab bhi nahi hua. Mm-hmm. Okay. It takes time. Keep solving. Keep reading things. You have multiple sites. Okay. Read the solutions. Watch YouTube videos. Come up with your own logic also, and then do a comparison. Ki kon the solution make clean code or better optimization nikal ra. Right. So that is very important. Also, write down. That is what I do. My personal suggestion: make notes. Mm-hmm. Ki ye hash set hai. Isko maine is code me use kia. इसके अलावा वट कुड बी एंड अ बेटर ऑल्टरनेटिव तो कीप एनालाइजिंग और ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन ऑप्टिमाइजिंग योर कोड राइट that's it consistency is the key here right that's that's obviously a tip that i've got from everybody <clears throat> out there who come and you know share their stories with me so yeah consistency is the key and i hope this interview experience actually helps our viewers to you know come forward and apply for companies like this and they're not nervous at all so i really thank you yep. harsimran for helping us with the interview experience and i hope to shoot another video with you pretty soon thank you so much for coming to the channel and helping us with your interview experience thank you thank you thank i you. would love to be here and also. help out my peers out there <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much hi there we hope you liked the video and had fun learning i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in this test you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at coding ninjas it can be dsa web development product companies interview preparation and even data science and many more courses so if you want to avail this opportunity click on the link in the description below or the pin comment and participate in the test now happy learning guys